Hey everybody, it's Horizon here. Today we are doing some quick tips on Wrath. And again, we'll start with strengths and then we'll talk about the weaknesses later. Now out of the four, Raph is not my favorite turtle, but he might be one of the most fun to play as, admittedly, because uh, a lot of his attacks are just absolutely brutal. So real quick in his strengths, he is the toughest. He can take the the most damage out of all the other turtles. His second tier special attacks might actually even be stronger than his third tier which is saying quite a bit, which allows him that once you do get to that third tier, if you chain and say, do a one tier combo, so you still have two green bars left, and then you get up from that attack, or you enter it before you even finish your first tier attack, you'll instantly go into a counter attack that body slams a guy, it's, it's devastating. His second tiers are just absolutely awesome. Uh, and once you've leveled up Raph, he is the strongest. I believe he's the strongest. I think Leo might have a stronger like uh, actual attack when he lands an attack, but Raph, when you take his second and third tier attacks, even his first tiers are some of the best. He's really a really tough guy to stop. And he's also probably one of the best in a crowd, meaning if you're in the middle of that crowd and you've got Raph up to three tiers, a special attack, He's going to pound the shit out of guys. I mean, he's he's a lot of fun to play as. Now, with all that said, Raph does have some really big weaknesses. He is probably... He's, he's probably the slowest. He's very slow, and he's also... It appears difficult to counter with him. I think it's because his attack animations take so long that it just leads him open for, for attacks. So it's really hard to counter with him. And his counter... Like Mikey's the fastest at increasing his combo counter, Raph takes the longest to climb that combo counter. And that usually leads him open that even if you do start to get it leveled up, you take one hit and boom, it resets and you're, you're having to climb that, that ladder again. But Raph is by far one of the most fun to play as. If you can master him, he is devastating, especially in the challenge mode. The problem with that, with Raph in the challenge mode, is because his attacks are so strong you're not going to be getting a lot of points and a lot of challenge mode is based on style rather than taking out enemies if you like Wrath though and if you're doing any co-op stuff with him uh, he is fantastic to have in boss fights he's got one tier 2 attack that literally uh, even if you use it it's a taunt and you'll taunt you'll see him stick his arms out and then point at himself like telling you basically taunting a guy to come at him even if a guy doesn't attack you when you're using that tier 2 special attack you get to keep that those two bars you don't use your special attack so it's great that you can just be in the middle of a crowd you use that and if a guy attacks you from any direction you're gonna counter it so Wrath awesome play ass um, highly recommended this has been Horizon we'll talk to you guys next time